Hello IB students, today we'll be solving the physics HL paper 2 2024. We'll be looking at the ninth question that appeared on this exam. So let's get started. An object attached to a spring oscillates with simple harmonic motion in a horizontal plane. The graph shows how the kinetic energy of the object varies with the displacement. State the amplitude of motion. Amplitude is the maximum displacement from the mean position. The maximum displacement can easily be read off from the graph. It's 6 centimeters. So amplitude is 6 centimeters. Draw on the axis about the variation with x of the potential energy stored in the spring. We know the relationship of potential energy is half kx square. This means potential energy is proportional to x square. This means that potential energy must be a quadratic function. It's going to be a parabola. Furthermore, if x equals 0, the potential energy is going to be 0. So we have a point right over here. Furthermore, when x equals 6, the kinetic energy is 0. So all the energy must have been converted to potential energy. So we have a point over there. In a similar fashion, when x equals minus 6, the kinetic energy graph drops to zero. That means all the energy must have been converted to potential energy. Therefore, we have a point right over here. Furthermore, when x equals minus 4, the kinetic energy is 10 joules. That means the potential must be 10 joules as well because the total is 20. In a similar fashion, when x equals 4, the kinetic is 10 joules, the rest of the 10 joules must appear as potential energy. So we have a point here, a point here, a point here, and two points right over here. So we can draw a sketch of a parabola connecting these points. And this gives us the variation of potential energy with the position. Let's move on to the next part of the problem. Explain how many times during one oscillation the kinetic energy of the object and the potential energy stored in the spring are equal. Okay, if you go back to this plot, let's say the object starts from here. As it goes to position x equals 4, the kinetic and potential are equal. It moves on until it hits its maximum displacement and returns. When it returns back to x equals 4, we once again have kinetic and potential equal to one another. It carries on with, it, with its journey until it reaches x equals minus 4. That's when kinetic and potential are once again equal. It carries on and goes to the negative side of its motion and returns. When it returns back to x equals minus 4, once again kinetic and potential are equal. And thus it completes its journey where kinetic and potential are equal to one another four times. Therefore, the answer to this question is four times in one oscillation. Next up, the mass of the object is 0 0.15 kilogram. Show that the period of the oscillation is about 0 0.7 seconds. You'll find in your data sheet an equation that says the maximum potential energy in a simple harmonic motion is half m omega square x square. Let's use that. If you use that equation, the maximum potential energy is half m omega square x square. And if you look at this plot here, we'll realize that the maximum potential energy is 20 millijoules. So we can substitute back it here. 20 millijoules equals half, the mass is 0 0.15 times omega square times the amplitude square. The amplitude is 6 centimeters. So let's plug that here. 0 0.06 square. So we can rearrange this equation for omega. If we do that, we get omega equals square root 40 into 10 to the minus 3 divided by 
0 0.15 into 0 0.06 square. If we plug this into our calculator, we get a value of about 8.6 radians per second. Using omega, we can find the time period. Time period is given as 2 pi divided by omega. All we have to do is plug this value into our equation. This gives us a value of 0 0.73 seconds. The final part of the problem asks us to calculate the maximum force exerted on the object by the spring. You'll find in your data sheet an equation that says the amount of acceleration equals omega square x. You'll find a minus in front, but we are going to neglect that because we are looking at the magnitude. That means the maximum acceleration would be omega square maximum displacement. Maximum displacement is simply amplitude, so we get an equation A max equals omega square amplitude. To find the force max, we simply multiply by mass, M times A max, before which is M omega square A. So we have a neat equation here, the maximum force exerted is mass omega square amplitude. All the variables in this equation are known to us. We know the mass, we know the omega, we know the amplitude. All we have to do is plug those values into this equation, which leads us to the maximum force of about 0 0.67 newtons. And that completes this problem. I hope you found this video helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Happy learning.